My name is Bridget de Gama. I'm the Chief People Officer for McDonald's South Africa. So my topic today covered a culture transformation journey within McDonald's South Africa. Um, it's part of a global culture transformation journey for the global brand of McDonald's. Um, it's actually being rolled out across 123 countries right across the globe. Every country uh, that McDonald's is actually operating in is rolling out this culture transformation journey. What we did in South Africa was to customize it for an African context, which is our context, and the South African context. So we customize it for ourselves and we're rolling it out um, in a way that is meaningful for us. So, you know, um, for many years it really felt, uh, it felt like, uh, for me as an HR practitioner, that there wasn't much happening in the HR space. You know, we had certain models, for instance, the business partnering model. Um, we were all using those models, but it just felt like nothing new was happening. And all of a sudden, there's just a proliferation of conversation going on. And I think it's the HR community, almost at a global level, because I just came from a conference in Spain two weeks ago. We were, we were speaking about the future of uh, work and what that will look like. Um, and then we as an HR community are trying to prepare for that future. And that's why a session like this is so important, because actually it gives us the opportunity to have those kind of dialogues. How should we prepare for the future? What should we be doing now for the future that's already here? Um, I think I enjoyed some of the talks by the various speakers. Um, initially, when I saw the program, I thought, like, the topics are so varied. But, you know, when you're here, you can understand how it all integrates and it all hangs together. And it all forms part of one sort of uh, theme in a way. So I've enjoyed being here. I've enjoyed the networking. Um, I've run into old colleagues. I've enjoyed reconnecting with old colleagues. I've made some new connections. And there are people here, business people, HR practitioners, um, and we've had conversations where we commit to networking again into the future and maybe partnering on projects in the future. There'll always be a need for humans in HR, I'm pleased to say. However, I think that the way we're going to function in HR, certain things won't need a human being. So for instance, HR administration can be automated very easily and most probably will be automated. Uh, into the future already, everybody's automating leave. Um, we in McDonald's uh, globally are looking at automating learning and development. So using um, automation, using digital technology uh, so that we can have impact, more impact in terms of um, building new skill sets, building new competencies. So even though we're automating a lot of things within the HR space, there'll always be a place for humans. There are just certain things that I think a human need, needs to do. So for instance, conceptualizing is one space in which a human will have to do it. Engagement, you know, influencing and trying to change people's mindsets. Change management is something that a machine can't do. A human will have to lead those kind of conversations.